1. If you watch the last scene of the ending song of episode 11, where Ayana Koji was sitting, you will see the silhouette of his father appearing in his eyes. You may not know it, but once Tsukashiro said that Ayana Koji's eyes are just like his father, filled with horror and deep darkness which no white room student could ever replicate. 2. In episode 1, Harakita was reading a book on the bus as well as in the classroom. The title of the book which she was reading is Crime and Punishment, a famous book written by Fyodor Dostoyevsky. The book is based on the story that debated whether it was right to kill someone, so long as it was done, for the sake of justice. Dostoyevsky is often considered as one of the greatest psychologists in the literary world. He was an acclaimed Russian novelist, short story writer, and also a philosopher. 3. At the starting of episode 10, we saw that Whiteroom students were giving an exam. If you notice the exam paper of the girl, you may know that they were solving Taylor Sayers' problem. Taylor series is an infinite sum of terms that are expressed in terms of the function's derivatives at a single point. It is used in many fields like control systems engineering, optical engineering, metrology, instrumentation design, fluid mechanics, etc. So, you can now imagine how much Whiteroom students are intelligent. 4. As we already know Ayana Koji's abilities, you might wonder what about his parents. In Volume 11, Chairman Sakayanagi mentioned that Ayana Koji's father was a person who never yields to anyone, and he always showed a modest attitude when he was around. He never graduated from a top university or possessed outstanding athleticism. Ayana Koji's mother was also an ordinary woman. His parents never showed signs of any talents either. But, Ayana Koji's father had stronger ambitions than anyone, and an unyielding and indomitable fighting spirit for which he was able to create an institution like Whiteroom. 5. Many a Nime fans may not know that Ayana Koji showed emotions before. In Volume 1, Ayana Koji tried to socialize with others in his class, tried to be a normal high school student. Even he pretended to, he also laughed a couple of times which Horikita and Chabashira sensei saw it. However after third volume, Ayana Koji started to act his real self. So, this question may arise in your mind. What happened to the other Whiteroom students after Ayana Koji left Whiteroom? In volume 11.5, when Ayana Koji was talking with Tsukashiro, Ayana Koji asked him what happened to the other students from his generation. At that time, Tsukashiro said that their hearts were so damaged that they couldn't really contribute to society. All of the students dropped out due to its excessively harsh education. So, if you want to know more about Whiteroom, just click on the right side video. Now let's end this video for today. Thanks for watching.